installing these things i'm gonna put you on a quick time lapse because my camera is about to die as well so all right welcome back to another episode of we rebuilds hey guess what seat belts are in so now that the seat belts are in hey we're gonna put that car together see how it drives and another thing is i'm gonna have to go on the road to see if i could get a auto scanner because that's what every scanner that i have none of them could clear the airbag codes so anyways like share subscribe drop your comments and thoughts down below turn your post notifications on don't forget to grab yourself some merch from weebibles.com hey i'm about to um get some new merch or i'm just about to cool off with those merch for now and then get into something else but hey don't worry about that but anyways keep sharing this video hey and guess what it's time to get this forward done let's go hey so i finally got back the stuff from l d solutions so what we're gonna do is um open it up real quick uh i have a flashlight right here because somebody hit a light post so we have no light at the moment or not enough light but we still got a little sun little bit of sunlight but anyway uh cool so we have the module has been reprogrammed or cleared and we have the seat belt so you remember how the other one was just just a straight piece, uh, metal piece so now they had it they put this plastic piece over it over it and I guess the seat belts good so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna set up the light inside of the car see if I could start installing these things I'm gonna put you on a quick time lapse because my camera is about to die as well so but got this from them so you know you could give them a shout out you could you know let them know that we rebuild sent y'all so anyways let's start putting all these parts in the car and see how it goes Okay, so yesterday, uh, the <clears throat> we you saw that we put everything together and we still have that airbag light. So I'm wondering if there's something that I missed, but also too as well, I know that the scanners that I have are not working. So maybe later on today or tomorrow, I have one of my friends come over and see if he could attach his scanner, or I just get one of those auto scanners because I think that's what it is. Um, but I also think that too is since I still have that brake fault code as well that could possibly be one of the issues so since I've already got the module reprogrammed I'm hoping it's not one of those one-time modules that I have to get a new one I'm hoping that's not the issue but if it is then we're gonna have to do all of this over again because what I'm thinking right now is that I could just start putting back everything together right now the whole interior together and then just call it a day and then see what will happen or I should just wait until he gets here scan it and make sure like hey that's not the issue so what I'm what I think I'm gonna do right now is 
pull this other seat out once I pull it out check the module one more time make sure there's no everything is seated correctly and then just start putting back everything in here and then we should be good and then have him come and scan it to see if there's something that I'm missing but I know every connector is connected in the, connected in the front um, yeah everything is connected in the front we changed the knee ear bag we also clip that in properly so it would be the knee ear bag the module and this seat belt right here so I don't know why it's still on hopefully that seat belt is not an issue or if it's something simple like how we had the, on the last Ford it probably be like the weight sensor module that's normally inside of the left passenger seat so uh, I'm not even gonna worry about that right now so let's just just try to put this car back together. So I end up getting this auto. I got it today. It was a used one that I bought from somebody from Facebook Marketplace. But anyways, let's try to see if it could manually um, get us the code. So, I think this is the VIN. Hold on, let me check just to make sure.
Yes, so the VIN is correct. Click OK. And the guy that I bought this from, it's actually updated to everything. So, it's the vehicle 1.5. Yes. Alright, so what we're going to do is diagnose, auto scan, and see everything that's wrong. See all the codes come up. And see if we could figure out this little guy right here, that airbag light and this ABS light. So when it's finished scanning, I'll turn the camera back on. All right, so it's literally just got done. So now it, these are all the codes that's on it, every single. So basically, uh, we got a TCU code two faults, two faults, HVAC three, and all of that. So power module anti lock brakes and all so we're gonna do a quick er erase and then see what codes come back So it's cycling through all the codes right now. So now, so now the the ABS light's not there, but it's still saying collision warning. So. So full accessory power active. So it's still it's still saying that assistance not available. So let's see. All right. So restrain module. So let's see what's that. Let's go read codes. I'm hoping it's not the airbag module because we just fixed back everything in the center console. I'm praying that's not it. So now it says no fault codes detected. So I guess we're good. Um, it looks good to me. So I'm gonna see if we can go back. All right. So we're one. We're 100 good on everything. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open the garage, start the car and then see what happens. All right, so we just opened the garage. So now let me start it and then see if there's any other issues. So pre-collision assistant not available. So that's still there. Everything else is good so uh, I'm gonna try to see if the parking brake works so I 
don't hear the parking brake engage. So that's probably why. Okay, so it does engage. So now I hear a parking brake went up. Okay, so I was doing the wrong thing. So that works now. Um, auto start switch deactivated. So, and then you can activate it if you wanted to or whatever. So that's good. The steering wheel feels much lighter now. So now I know that's done. I think the car is fully out of limp mode or from clearing all these codes. So the only thing we need to worry about now is just basically putting back the front of the car together and getting some Freon in it. So I want to see if there's anything else I could do with this auto scan. So let me see if I could clear. Well, we could reset the the engine oil now because see what are the hot functions because the engine oil we um we changed the engine oil a while back so we could reset it. So it's a manual reset and basically tells us everything that we need to do. So I'm gonna do that, but I'm gonna do that off camera. So that's about it for this car. As you can see, the Altail scanner <laughs> did do the job. So yes, I only end up paying, I think $400 for the Altail scanner. The, the guy said he was trying to sell for 550. I asked him, hey, I only have $400 currently at the moment. So he, he worked with me, uh, but I mean, hey, the tool work, I'm happy it did. Now the codes are cleared. Now everything, now I know, okay, I can finish the rest of the things. So in the next episode, uh, we're probably gonna figure out what we're gonna do, because what you could see right here is I have the, the green hood on. So I, I have the green, not the green, <laughs> I have the gray hood on the car and the blue fenders. So what I'm probably going to do is, since the fender is on the other one, but this side is pretty beat up, what I'm going to, what I'm thinking of doing first though, is uh, kind of have everything put back together a little bit and then see if I could just put on or just put on a, the gray fenders for now, just to drive it around and test it to make sure everything is good and then get it ready for painting. So just to do that for now and get it ready for painting and then once this thing is done painting, then this car is done 100%. Then we we'll just gotta drive it, test it, see if any hiccups come, anything mechanical, and then we could just solve it from there. But I mean, I'm happy that that scan tool worked out for me because if it didn't, I had to, I was really worried if I should end up getting a Harbor Freight scanner or why any of my scanners weren't working, but I realized every other scanner that I have does not, is not up to date to this current year. So this is a 2021. And the guy that I got the, um, the Ansel, the scanner from, he looks like he has, it, is that he has it updated all the way to 2025. So, I mean, it gave us a big help to push on this. The only fault code now I gotta worry about is that pre-collision fault code. So I don't know if it's a code that's stored immediately inside the computer or what, but I mean, now I know, okay, that um, has been done, all the codes have been cleared, the airbag codes, that was my biggest one because I hate driving around with that. So now I know the parts car is getting out of here. So if you need parts, hey, um, just hit, my, hit me up in the description below on we rebuilds, um at gmail.com hit me up on instagram or tiktok or anywhere hey if you need parts let me know we can work out a deal on something because i'm not going to charge a whole bunch of money because i'm trying to get rid of some of these parts or what i'm probably going to do is end up jumping this car because i don't need it need the rest of the parts anymore 
once I'm done setting up this car. But anyways, like, share, subscribe, and drop your comments and thoughts down below. And don't forget, check us out on WeWeBuilds.com. Um, um, uh, just hit up us, hit up, just come check us out on all social media links. We have plenty of stuff going on. As you know, this bill is about to come to an end because once I've, everything is fit up and it's painted, that's it, this build is 100% done. And then we're gonna move on to something else. I have something, you know, new coming. So if some of y'all know, you will see it around the, the garage right here. But anyways, stay positive, stay motivated, and I'll catch you in the next one.